Belarus has thwarted an attack on the capital Minsk by drones launched from Lithuania, Russian state news agencies reported on Thursday, with reference to the head of the Belarusian security service, Ivan Tertel. The State Security Committee, in cooperation with colleagues from other law enforcement agencies, has recently carried out a number of acute security measures, which made it possible to prevent strikes by combat drones from the territory of Lithuania on objects in Minsk and its suburbs, Russian RIA news agency quoted Ivan Tertel as saying. Tertel did not provide any evidence to support his claims against NATO member Lithuania. The allegations of attempted drone attack from Lithuania came amid Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko's remarks that the country's opposition planned to seize a district in the west of the country and request support from NATO troops, according to RIA. Addressing the All-Belarusian People's Assembly VNS, meeting on Thursday, Lukashenko said I don't know why they chose Kobrin district, they talk a lot about it. They plan to seize it and appeal to NATO to deploy troops. The Belarusian leader also said that the risk of military incidents along his country's border with neighboring Ukraine was quite high. Russian state news agency TASS quoted Lukashenko as saying there could be an apocalypse if Russia used nuclear weapons in retaliation for Western actions. TASS also quoted Lukashenko as saying on Thursday that several dozen Russian tactical nuclear weapons had been deployed in Belarus. TASS news agency said the deployment was in line with an agreement announced last year by Lukashenko and President Vladimir Putin. It should be noted that Belarus is Russia's close ally and allowed Moscow to use its territory to launch its invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Kim Jong-un's sister calls South Korean officials scared barking dogs. The younger sister of North Korean chairman Kim Jong-un, who is tipped by some experts to be the successor to the North Korean leader in response to direct threats from Seoul, again spoke out about a possible conflict with South Korea. According to the Central Telegraph Agency of North Korea, Kim Yo-jong warned Seoul that if the South Korean authorities counting on US help decide to attack a neighboring state, they will receive such a response that the Republic of Korea will cease to exist. The sister of the North Korean leader compared the behavior of South Korean officials to the barking of a frightened dog. A scared dog barks well, but recently the leaders of the Korean puppet military gang have gone beyond all limits with their barking. If they, relying on their master, try to take military action against us, they will be immediately destroyed. Kim Yo-jong warned, Addressing the patron of the South Korean authorities, Kim Jong-un's sister said that the United States, together with its allies, hopes in vain to defeat the North Korea in the military confrontation. She said the US should not instill reckless courage in South Korea and continue to boast of strength by threatening North Korea's security. Such behavior will lead to the fact that the United States itself will be in danger. We will continue to accumulate overwhelming and powerful military power to protect our sovereignty and security. Peace in the region, said Kim Yo-jong. Another round of tension and mutual threats on the Korean peninsula began after the North Korean military conducted tactical exercises simulating a nuclear counter-attack using super-large multiple launch rocket systems. As usual, Kim Jong-un personally monitored the progress of the exercises. It is reported that the 600mm MLRS batteries accurately hit the island target at a distance of 352 kilometers. After this, the South Korean Foreign Ministry stated that the North Korea faces the end of the regime if nuclear weapons are used. The head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the Republic of Korea at a meeting with the military of an elite counter-terrorism unit said that special forces must be ready to eliminate the leadership of a neighboring state in the event of a direct military conflict. Poland ready to host US nuclear weapons on Putin's doorstep? Russia threatens a tough response. Polish President Andrzej Duda asserted Warsaw's readiness to accept the deployment of nuclear weapons on its territory if NATO decides to do so. This announcement comes amid escalating tensions fueled by Russia's military buildup in Belarus and Kaliningrad. If there were a decision by our allies to deploy nuclear weapons within the nuclear sharing also on our territory in order to strengthen the security of NATO's eastern flank, we are ready, Duda said. Russia is increasingly militarizing the Kaliningrad enclave. It is the process of transferring its nuclear weapons to Belarus. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, 
President Vladimir Putin has made veiled nuclear threats toward the West, even stashing atomic weapons in Belarus, which borders NATO members Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. Duda said nuclear sharing has been the subject of talks between Poland and the US for some time. I've already talked about it several times. I must admit that when asked about it, I declared our readiness, he said. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov responded that Russia will take all necessary retaliatory steps to guarantee our security. Russia will take into account potential deployment of U.S. nuclear weapons in Poland in its military planning, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said. It looks like Warsaw is deliberately seeking to attract more attention from those dealing with military planning in the Russian general staff. It would be logical to assume that once nuclear weapons appear in Poland, relevant facilities will be immediately put on the list of legitimate targets in case of a direct armed confrontation with NATO, she said. She slammed Duda's statement as provocative. Poland's authorities make no secret of their striving to lean closer on the US nuclear weapons deployed in Europe and are actively using these ambitions in their hostile Russian policy, Zakharova said. This has us looking more closely at Poland in our military planning, taking into account threats to Russia that are generated with the participation of this country. According to the Russian diplomat, Moscow and Minsk take into consideration the Polish factor when taking additional measures to bolster the security of their union state.